say, hi everybody, I'm a junior scientist too. My name is Layla. Say hi. You say hi. Do you want to read the ABCs of science with mommy? <laughs> yeah. We'll see how long we get through the book. So far, you've never been through it all because you hate this book, but that's okay. Other people might like it. The ABCs of science with Mrs. Dubois. Bravo. Yeah, I know. Sorry, that came right on your face. A, how do we do this? Oh, I know, I know. I'm sorry. A is for amoeba. An amoeba is a kind of cell that can change its shape. B is for bond. A bond is an attraction between atoms. No, you don't like that page? C is for conductor. <laughs> a, a conductor allows electrical energy to flow. D is for Doppler effect. Look, over here. The Doppler effect is the change in how moving things sound when they go Can you do that? <laughs> Good job. E is for electron. Electrons are particles that have one unit of negative charge. F is for fulcrum. What's that? What? Snap, snap. Is that wah wah? Yeah. Mommy doesn't let you play with that, does she? Wah wah. Wah wah. A fulcrum is the point at which a lever pivots. Movement. G is for gene. This is mommy's favourite. A gene is part of DNA, in, is a unit of heredity. Mommy mm -hmm. spent a lot of st time studying those things. Yeah. Yeah. H is for hydrogen. Hydrogen is the first element of the periodic table. Some of mommy's awesome students can sing the periodic table song. What's wrong? What's the matter? Don't you like learning about the ABCs of science? I is for igneous. <gasps> mommy's year seven students are doing igneous rocks right now. Yeah. yeah. Igneous rock is called magma or lava. Yeah. <laughs> J is for jet. A jet is a stream of fluid or air that has been forced through a nozzle. Kind of like a hose. Yeah. yeah. Oh, mommy's dog is ruining all her plants outside. Good job, Bandit. K is for kinetic. Up here, Layla. Can you see Bandit? Yeah. K, kinetic energy is the energy of a moving thing. L is for light. Do you want to see my digging dog at the moment? This is, this is fantastic. Thanks. Thanks a lot. That looks great. You dug out all my plants. I do not appreciate that. Not one bit. No. No. Wait, come back. Are we done? Don't you want to keep reading? <gasps> we're not done. We're not done. Oh, I know. It's the car, but we're not done. Okay, it's fucking this. Oh. Okay. So that is life with a one and a half year old. Okay, it's fucking this. Kinetic energy is the energy of a moving thing. L is for light. Light is the part of the spectrum that is visible to human eyes. M is for mitosis. I'm going to figure out what's going on with my baby. Layla, come here. M is for mitosis. And N is for nebula. Don't you want to read with mummy? Come on. <laughs> Dab the corona away. Come on. Never, mommy. I know, but come here. Mummy. Mummy's reading. Mummy. M is for mitosis. Mitosis is. <laughs> okay, Harry Potter was too itchy. We had to change clothes. Okay. Layla, we got up to M. M is for mitosis. Mitosis is the division of one cell nucleus into two by copying DNA. DNA. Die. Huh? What'd you say? Die. Did you say star? Yeah. Where's the star? Yeah. Where? Yeah. That's right, mommy. M is for nebula. Mommy's year 10 students are learning about nebula. Die. A nebula is a large cloud of dust and gas in Die. space. <gasps> Did you know that? Yeah. O is for ozone. Ozone is a molecule made of three oxygen atoms. P is for proton. P 
Protons carry one unit of positive electric charge. Q is for quark. Quarks are subatomic particles. Mr. Bois knows very little about quarks. It is very advanced. Well, it's very recent physics, sort of more recent than when she studied physics. R is for radiation. Radiation is light released by all things. S is for... Die. What's that? Yeah. Is that the sun? Yeah. S is for sun. The sun is the closest star to planet Earth. Wait, wait, wait. This is the best word ever. T is for theory, year 10. Oh my gosh. Layla, Layla. This is very important. Year 10 needs to hear this. Tell you ten what a theory is. But I want to tell them what a theory is. Okay, we'll, come, we'll come back to T. W is for wave. A wave is something that transfers energy from one source to another. X is for xylem. What is it? Do you like the ABCs of science? How are we going to make you into a scientist? Z is for xylem. <gasps> Yay! We'll go back to theory. <coughs> Is for vaccine very topical vaccines stop the spread of disease come on COVID-19 vaccine let's do it T is for theory science is a collection of explanations of all nature no. <laughs> I wonder what Z is for yeah. U is for ultraviolet Ultraviolet light is not visible to humans. We've been through W and X. <gasps> Nearly there, guys. Y is for Yotta. Yotta is a decimal prefix like kilo. And Z is for zygote, the thing that happens before a baby that screams around and doesn't let you finish the ABCs of science. She's pretty cute. Bye. See you next time.